has caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. There are several ways to think about anything, and when I think about the bass, I most often think of it as a predator, and as such, it's the most highly evolved and versatile predator in its environment and holds the top line there. But that very versatility gives us another way to think of the bass, and that is as a sport fish. Because the fish is so well adapted, the variety of tackle, boats, and all the techniques involved in catching them make it just the most fun fish to pursue. And that's why the largemouth bass has always been considered America's favorite sports fish. Bass live and thrive in every aquatic habitat and in virtually every state, with the exception of Alaska. Because they're found in so many different places, it helps to have a little knowledge of the constants that make up a bass's world in order to help us better find them. The first thing we need to realize is that, given all other habitats, weeds are by far the bass's favorite haunts. The plants tend to be shallow. Therefore, bass, as well, are a shallow water fish. Often the very largest of bass can be found feeding in 18 inches or even a foot of water. Remember, if you want to catch bass, follow the rules as to where most of the bass live. As much as a bass is a popular fish, it's also changed the sport of fishing as well. Huge amounts of money have been spent by anglers in pursuit of this game fish. And the fact that the bass is so willing to hit virtually every kind of lure has funded the development of vast quantities of tackle, graphite rods, sophisticated electric trolling motors, and even our high-speed bass boats. So we truly owe the bass a debt of gratitude for all the contributions it's made to our enjoyment of the sport. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.